Hello there, and welcome back to another Outer Worlds. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button. And if you want to see other videos, why not subscribe? Well, let's get back into it. The Charmer! Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All of the above? Actually, uh, never mind. I'll catch you later. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. It smells like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. I brought some muscles about to cover up the salt. Trust me, this is worse. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Are you in charge of handling... Are you in charge of handing out medicine? Yes, indeed. Someone's got to keep Stella Bay's people healthy and... energized. You certainly seem excited about your job. Oh, but I am. I get to see plenty of my neighbors here, and I do dearly love a little gossip. I've been asked to pick up medicine. Some kind of caffeine or steroids? Bless your little heart, you must mean caffeinoid. If it's pep you need, one pill does the deed. Now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Pickups for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stella Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Oh, that's just awful. You can't trust people these days. Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there... Anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Aren't you a saucy thing? I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Uh huh. Why don't you show me a thing or two? Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? That's private. Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Also, I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. I suppose that's reasonable. Indeed. Now, how about you tell Auntie who this pickup's for? Never mind. Set upstairs.
lights down. Guys, let's dip. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink chatter business. All of the above? Got your magic pills. There's things are these things are dangerous, you know. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the uh oh no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Bavardi, wait on the ship. We'll need a constant help for now. A real big game hunter. You gotta give me some pointers. So, Nioka, what's the ugliest thing you ever killed? Oh, I still have nightmares about this one. Fiercest, most foul creature I've ever faced. Just shy of seven feet tall, breath like a sulfur pool. A little slow, strong as a mountain. If I recall, his name was George, Gregory, I don't know, some G name. He and a band of pirates tried to ambush me and mine on the trail once. Wait, you're talking about a person? Yeah, poor guy. I think my bullets did his face a favor. Can we talk? What's up? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Well, I definitely don't plan on getting myself killed. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. What kind of danger are we talking about here? Nothing I can't, we can't handle. All right, let's hear it. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. 
What do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to Barry. And after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then, we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. We're going to have to kill a manta queen? Oh, yes. I can't wait. First, we gotta hit this up. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. I'm good. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Westbound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. Great, a Mega Raptor.
go! I call this Rotting River, on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others, the slope up. If you're up for some fun, let's chat. Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Like we're doing this.
Ah, shit. That's a big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up to you. I vote the latter. Yeah, I vote tiptoe. The hell? Look up. What's he doing up there? So we both don't die.
Heads up! Score one for Felix. Huh, that was interesting. And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Hey, you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! If... Oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine? That's my gun, if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. What marauders? Is that a trick question? Never mind. Marauders ain't smart enough to be asking those. That's good, I guess, as I wasn't looking forward to double tapping you. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. What are you doing up here? Hunting marauders? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. How do I find the C3s? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. What are you waiting for? Help me kill these marauders. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. I'm off. You know what? Screw the C3s. We got this. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. Wonder why they call it Devil's Peak. Ain't really a peak. It's, you know, two peaks.
Here we go! You're going down! Nice work. You should check in with my crew. Maybe they can help you. Go back and follow the trail running underneath that archway and you'll find them soon enough. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. Uh huh.
Oh shit. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't? We'll see about that. Get the bits. Here's the elevator, but it ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Like there's a lot of stuff in there. Don't mind if I do. These definitely will come in handy. I can sell that. Pick these up. What is this? Barb. The new environmental controls terminal is now installed and running upstairs. Congratulations. You may you message corporate about it. You get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, preferably within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections, because I sure as hell will not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about it. Testing the system out. Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review. Val. Alright guys, shall we? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need, I need to see the information broker about... No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later, as I said. There are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. 
aside from you. Okay. Broker. See, Nioka? I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. How many marauders broke into the station? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. I'll see what I can do. I gotta get you guys some some better armor. thing. I'll take the armor parts. I'll sell some of that. Hey, what else can I raid in this place? Alright, let's see what kind of armor stuff I got.
Okay, Felix. Let me throw one of these on you. Alright guys, you ready to go? Question and an answer. Come they come. Shit, didn't see that. Oh, sorry. Damn it. Guy. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. You hurry on it. What up, Hiram? Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit. I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? You're not an easy man to reach, broker. That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. Some folks don't look kindly on me being a purveyor of delicate information. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Have you seen Doc Wells? The guy's ancient. You take any more time and he's liable to croak. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. This is a problem how? The bandwidth! There's too much blasted background noise. Nothing gets through but their local broadcasts. Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Can't we just cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. We're in Stellar Bay. My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. Why Amber Heights? Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophist ramblings on my airwaves. 
Tell me more about MSI and the Iconoclast. Graham and his Iconoclast believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it as he's taking strides to corporatize Stellar Bay. I'll talk some sense to them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. I need to head out. Sure. You know where to find me if you need me. Uh, always something. Alright guys, it's time. Uh, I'll see you next time. Oh uh, man, I gotta deal with all these people. Why can't anything just be easy? Well, peace!